Hey y'all, I got some interesting news for you. If you purchase these items from Walmart in 2022 up until now, you have a short amount of time to join this class action lawsuit worth $45 million settlement, okay? You want to know more about it? Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share this video out, and leave comments. Let's get into it. Okay, so what's happening right now is Walmart has a $45 million settlement, okay? Time is running out for you to claim your class action settlement payment. Eligible Walmart customers can expect to receive anywhere from ten dollars to $500 from the settlement, depending on how much they bought and if they have their receipts. So keep your receipts, y'all. If you don't have them now, just keep them anyway, okay? Keep your receipts. There is a little over a week remaining to claim part of this class action settlement with Walmart over the cost of weighted groceries across U.S. stores. So if you bought some weighted groceries, guess what? You know they was overcharging you. So join this class action lawsuit if you have your receipts. So the deadline to submit your claim is Wednesday, June 5th, with a final approval hearing set for June 12th. This class action lawsuit was filed back in October of 2022. It alleges that Walmart shoppers across the U.S. and Puerto Rico who purchased certain sold by weight meat and seafood, as well as select citrus sold in bulk bags pay more than the lowest price advertised in the store. Now, of course, this wouldn't be Walmart if they wasn't denying all allegations, okay? So Walmart has denied any wrongdoing, but agreed to pay $45 million to settle the litigation. That means that impacted consumers can submit claims for cash payments. They say we will continue providing our customers everyday low prices to help them save money on the products they want and need. So the Bentonville, Arkansas company previously stated this, and they also said that we still deny the allegations, but we're going to pay y'all this money. However, we believe a settlement is in the best interest of both parties. And I'm going to tell you, I did a story a little while back and it was talking about how Walmart, Target, Dollar Tree, not Dollar Tree, Family Dollar and Dollar General were actually overpricing their items. Like if you saw the price on the shelf for one thing, when you went to ring up, if you're not paying attention, the price was something else. So you, the consumer, you can learn more about submitting an e-claim and the products that are covered on the settlement administrator's website. Cash payments are available for anyone who purchased certain weighted meat, seafood, and bag citrus products, which include select oranges, grapefruit, and tangerines at Walmart in the U.S. and Puerto Rico between October 19th, 2018 and January 19th. 2024 so between if you purchase those things and you still have your receipts you can join this class action lawsuit this went all the way back to 2018 october 19th 2018 all the way up until january of this year 2024 now i can't quite tell you how much you'll get for what you spent but payments will range in the amount depending on each claim it's possible to get some money even if you don't have a purchase receipt anymore. Oh my goodness, that changes the game right there. Y'all join this class action lawsuit if you feel like you overpaid at the Walmart between that time period that I just told you. They saying here, if you don't have a purchase receipt anymore, it's okay. But here's the gag, okay? The gag is consumers without a proof of purchase can receive between $10 to $25, depending on how many eligible products they attest to buying during the settlement class period. Meanwhile, those with the receipts or other documentation could be entitled to get 2% of the total cost of each product they purchase at up to $500. If you are approved, you will receive your payments electronically through Venmo or Zelle or ACH 
or a virtual prepaid MasterCard. But paper checks can also be requested those unable to receive payments electronically. So how do you submit your claim to Walmart's class action lawsuit? Thought you never ask. So eligible customers must fill out a three page claim form either online on the claims website or submit it through the mail it reminds me of the Aaliyah song i'm sending you a four page letter the kids i'm like but remember okay the deadline to submit is june 5th and that is approaching you guys june is next week so i'm letting you know this now please share this with your family and your friends make this video go viral y'all this is news you absolutely can use because you may get a little bit of money out of it in the end so the deadline to submit a claim is june 5th with a final approval hearing set for june 12th objections and other comments to the settlement can be made through may 22nd so there you go a little bit of walmart news you can use honey check them prices and check your receipts when you're checking out okay and i'll see y'all in the next video remember to hit the like button definitely helps the channel grow get out to more people and it tells you to hey tommy bites tv is here and subscribe to the channel if you have not turn your red button gray then hit the notification make a shimmy shake make a shimmy shake so you'll know when i call you because if i call you and you don't have your notifications on guess what it's gonna send me the voicemail and you won't get the message so i'll call you